Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Tuesday, the 29th of August. Apologies for yesterday. I was busy with family business. But today we have a funeral in the church later on for a wonderful woman who was born into a Jewish family and met Jesus as her Messiah. And she lived a wonderful Christian life. And one of the readings she uh, um, had suggested for her funeral was from Isaiah 61, where we read, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort those who mourn, um, to provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning. And as I read that, I thought, what a, what a wonderful picture. And we know that Jesus picked this up as he began his ministry, and he's saying, yes, this is what I've come to do. But what a wonderful picture of the, the end of mourning, um, that there's the oil of gladness, that the poor are comforted, that there's release of prisoners, that there's all these good things going on. Um, and as one reads it, you think, that's the kind of existence I want to live. That's the world I want to live in. And we know that Jesus promised that he would come again and establish his kingdom. And this is what we will see fully and completely at that time. But as I read that, I thought, such a wonderful glimpse. And the challenge for us in the moment is that we need to start living this out. We need to say, this is the kingdom we're going to be part of. We might not be there yet, but we're just on a journey. This is a short-term journey through our life, and we step into eternity where this is reality. And in the meanwhile, we start living this out. We start uh, bringing good news. We start proclaiming uh, binding up the brokenhearted. We, we proclaim, give the oil of gladness to those who mourn. We, we step in and make a difference in the world. Um, and if we we're all doing this, the world would be such a, a good place and the church would begin to shine like the light Jesus wanted it to be. So as you go through life, read, read Isaiah chapter 61 and just have this glimpse of the glory of what God's kingdom will be like. And we pray to the Spirit, enable us to live this day in that way for your glory. Be blessed.